Hi. Um, well, I'll I'll be brief. As, uh, my, my, my presentation is a bit different from the others. It's just about one case, um, one of our examples of promising practices. Um, well, of, of course, it was a hard choice to, to make, but in the end it was natural because you will have a, ta you have a chance to taste some of it outside in the, um, well, it's not the blood thing, it's the... Um, the exhibition about uh, Port Data that <coughs> opened yesterday, so... Um, or should I...? <laughs> ah, okay. So, um, Port Data is first and foremost um, uh, a database with, with thousands of official statistics that can be displayed and manipulated in, in clear and user-friendly ways. The, the project started with, with databases about, um, mostly about Portugal and its regions, but now it's, it has data about uh, Euro European countries and even, I think, the United States and Japan, at least. Um, data, data from these databases includes uh, all these, these subjects that you can see there, uh, with a time frame of up to, um, to five decades. And with a couple of, the idea is that with a couple of clicks, you, you can display the information in a, in a nice static or dynamic ways that is uh, showing change a long time. And in tables or, um, hmm? In, you can display it in different, in many, many, many modes of visualization, like tabs, uh, tables and graphs, and as I said, uh, static or dynamic graphs. But it's the the best way I think it's to show you just um, uh, an illustration that should be moving. But how do we play the video? So you can you, you can choose. This is an, an example that it's a nice illustration, <coughs> actually, of the of the, the spectacular influence of uh, Maria Nugago that was mentioned here today and yesterday. The, uh, it really describes the the growth of collaboration of Portuguese science with many countries along I don't know several decades. And there was nothing happened before 1990-something, 90, 90 and you can see. Uh, the idea of Pordata is more than, than just provide us a way of having clear and cool visualizations. There's one really, really, really important thing from the RRI perspective that Pordata provides, that is, um, Most of this, this information is displayed with metadata. That is information about the information, how it was obtained, by whom, for what purposes. Um, because the idea is that you, you can't really, as, you, as we know, <coughs> as we know from the, the idea of open, of meaningful openness, we can't really know what numbers or, or other information represent without knowing the context of, 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 uh, of data. We know, we've discussed a lot these days that raw data is not enough, that it can even close rather than, than open access to information and participation in science. So there's no illustration of this, sorry, but uh, most of these, as I, we can show, we can see that later outside, but most of these, all of these databases are really a company, uh, have really a, like a, a side, side menu with metadata. And uh, for instance, this includes a really cool, f a really cool thing. It's a, it's a glossary of the indicators where you can can see what exactly is being measured and understand it because it's put in a re in real clear ways. 
And this also means that that's another feature of meaningful openness that the information is can or at least can be tailored for different publics with different needs and different interests from from children to curious sci citizens to researchers as well at least in the in the early stages of of um, of research and well i think this this is a, a great help to give credibility to data, of course, to the data that in a way is already quite credible, but especially it's a, it's a, a nice tool to help uh, give credibility to many different uses of, its, of this information. And so it helps making, making whatever we do with this much more meaningful and more informative. But as I say, we can, you, you, you can easily find other developments of this, this experiment outside in the, in, the, in the exhibition. And I'm sure there will be somebody from Pordat or from Ciencia Viva here who can help you. So that's it. Okay, thank you.